Hey guys, I'm Nick aka The One on Nick's Gamers. Today we're going to be unboxing, you guessed it, an Intel processor. Probably because from of the title, but specifically as an Intel Core i7 processor that I'm currently using in my PC. It's a really beast processor, and uh, yeah, if you want to know how to install an Intel processor, this video will show you how to do it. It'll work with all the i series, you know, i5, i3, I think something still. All of those, it'll work, and uh, yeah, so here you go. Hope you enjoy it. Quick and simple, I'm just going to jump right into the video, and uh, I'll see you guys at the outro at the end of the video. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing. We actually need uh, a knife or something. If, you, if there's some in the kitchen there, if you want to go grab them. Oh, scissors will work. Now, I wouldn't recommend using scissors because on technology because you can jab things, but, you know, with a processor, you're good. It's real protected in there. Also, watch out for your motherboard, <laughs> which is most likely exposed during this time. See if I can just maybe peel this back and peel it off. Nah. Hmm. Is there a knife? Yeah, there we go. We got a nice exacto knife here. Which, be careful I don't cut myself. We can just go ahead and open up with. Come on now. Ah! There we go. As you can see, this is exacto knife and did that on stream. We are streaming this, by the way, guys, live over on twitch.tv slash nixgames with some awesome people over there. So, uh, so yeah. Ugh! Come on! Open! Having to really get in there on that. Okay, there we go. We should be able to just go ahead and open it up now. I'm going to do this off camera, and there we go. Be able to get the box open. On your processor, you'll be able to pull it right on out. And there's the processor right there. Uh, there's also going to be some instruction manuals in this. Right there on how to install it and stuff. We don't need that. We've installed I've installed one of these before and watched about a billion people on YouTube install them. So this is the stock heat sink that comes with every Intel uh, processor, if I can get this out here, and there we go. We're not going to be using this. Uh, we're going to be using a custom CPU cooler. So right there is the stock Intel processor. We're going to be using this, a custom CPU cooler, but there is that right there. And uh, for this, it's really easy. You just push down on the sides whenever you place it on. There's holes right there. You place it on the holes, and you press down, and you're good to go. Uh, there's tons of videos on how to do that, so don't worry about it if uh, this video doesn't help you on that. CPU paste on the bottom of it, but we can set that aside and go ahead and wrangle the processor on out. To do that, all you got to do is just kind of pull. There's a thing. You just pull this up, and the processor falls down, and a nice and neat plastic package. And from there, we're going to set the processor aside because we need to do some work on our motherboard. Now, whatever motherboard you have, um, you're going to have a cover over the processor, right? So right here it is. Should just be able to pull it up, but it doesn't look like it's going to do that. So I'm actually going to flick the arm back. So just push down on the arm, pull it up, flick it back, and as you can see, that just slips right on up. Now you don't have to worry about damaging anything. It's airborne, and you can just kind of wiggle it on off. Some will be easier than others. Um, I believe my last motherboard just it literally wiggled off, which is probably a sign as to how bad the motherboard is. <laughs> my last motherboard wasn't too great, but this one is, is going to take a little bit of pressure, but as you can see, you might have heard the click there, and just you got one side, you got to get the other. There we go, and it just pulls right on off. So there you go. Now, be careful. Be very careful, because right now, there's a bunch of little pins down there, and you don't want to mess any of those up. So we're going to fold that on back, and now we're ready to go ahead and basically install the processor. I mean, we're, we're good to go. So we're just going to go ahead and pop this thing open. And as you can see, just pop it open right like that. Make sure it's on the right side. And there you have it. Now, to install a processor, it's pretty easy. You want to line up. There are two notches on the, uh, on the actual motherboard right up here at the top. And there are two notches. And if you can see it, one right there and one right there. I don't know if it'll focus, but on both sides. And then there's also this little arrow right down here in the corner. Same thing happens with this uh, arrow, as you can see over here on the motherboard, well you can't see it, but over there on the motherboard there is an arrow. So that means we want to go ahead and just take this processor and drop it on down in there. Right like that, wiggle it, make sure it's snug, it's nice and snug there. And uh, now we're ready to, uh, to go ahead and fold the arm back. Now this is always a very, 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 very scary part because it feels like you're breaking the the processor when you do this but you're not it's a meant to sound like but um it, it still sounds bad so let's go ahead and do this i'm gonna let you hear this hopefully you pick it up over background noise and stuff like that but here we go drop that down and hold the motherboard you couldn't hear it but it, it I, I heard it i heard it it was very very faint 
But now the processor is set and good to go. You've installed your processor. There you guys have it. That's all of that video. I'll meet you talking about the outro and all that stuff um, later on. But uh, processor is now installed. So there you guys have it. And there you guys have it. It is done. We've installed our processor. Um, this, like I said, I really enjoy this processor. I'm using it right now. It's an awesome, awesome processor. I have very little complaints about it. More complaints about how software isn't optimized to run it more so than the processor itself. But anyway, that's beside the point. I will uh, see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make awesome videos every single day of the week from everything from tech to gaming, all that stuff. So I hope again, hope you enjoyed. I'm Nick's Games. I think I've said that already once, but I'm out, guys. Peace. And there's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, we've got Nick Tech, which is the epic and awesome Minecraft weekly Minecraft tutorial series let's play of my own mod pack Nick Tech. It's pretty awesome. Go check it out. Then the other way, we've got the T5i unboxing. I unboxed the Canon T5i, which is actually used to record this video that you're watching right now, but not this part of the video. Anyway, Canon T5i unboxing. Go check it out. Pretty awesome camera. Pretty awesome unboxing. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.